Which is our last game of the night. Second to last! It is it. Third to last! Anyone say? I'm shouting at Okay, so our last game of the night is a game called Chuck D. And in this game, you are going to see several of us step forward. This mic is all wet. Who are you? Thomas is all wet. Anyway, so this game is called Chuck D. Several of us are going to get a suggestion from you. Everyone's, some people are going to step forward. They're going to give a monologue. They can be true. They can be made up. Whatever. And then we're going to take a couple of those and we're going to create scenes off of that. We're going to jam it out. So. Can I get a suggestion for our Chuck? United States oh, Canadian Bob relationships. Bob Chicago. Everyone, wait, wait, silence. Everyone, close their head. Oh, close their eyes. Close your eyes. Think, think of the first one that comes to your mind. It's, it's actually really original. Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada's been around. What'd you say? Gnomes. gnomes. Okay, we're gonna go with gnomes. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. start. Yeah. So excited I get to share this story. Um, <laughs> so my family every year uh, we do an Easter gnome hunt. Um, this is not made up. Uh, my mom and my aunt got real drunk one Easter, and they're like, "What are we gonna do to keep the cousins entertained?" So they're like, "What if we hit a gnome somewhere?" That makes sense, right? So they hit a gnome. Um, uh, in, I live near the beach, so they hit it on a pier, and they sent us out. And they were like still drunk like that day, like so they were like trailing all these kids, just kind of like bumping into one another, laughing hysterically. We humor them, and we're still humoring them to this day. Thank you. Yeah. years old, hold on, back up, my dad's family is from Chicago. Um, his sister, Lorraine, um, is a lesbian and she moved in with this woman named Kim. My family, when I was around 10 years old, conference called uh, my aunt Lorraine, we hadn't talked to her in a while, we wanted to see how she was doing, so uh, her and Kim are on the phone and, and they're telling us about how <laughs> They're working on this farm together now, and it's a special farm. And um, at night, they set everything up outside, all nice and conducive. And uh, at night, the gnomes come out, and they help all of the uh, produce grow. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> so if you can only imagine my mom, my dad, myself, and my little brother, who's seven at the time, standing around the phone on conference, <laughs> going, <laughs> <laughs> laughing, trying to keep it in so hard, and she's going on and on about the moons and the gnomes, and they're really wonderful <laughs> little creatures, and they... And then two years later, these two broke up, and she was like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> True story. Michael Short. So, um, uh, my senior year of high school, I was, I was dating this girl, and she gave me a t-shirt that I still wear to this day, and it's awesome. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. She dumped me before graduation, but that's beside the point. The t-shirt deals with gnomes. It's called Chillin' with My Nobies. I have that shirt too. <laughs> it's called Chillin' with My Nobies. It's Chillin' with My Nobies. It's got two gnomes. And then this like fucking awesome like DeVille like in the middle of it. And I love that shirt. I, I think it's a great image. And it's an awesome play on words. Don't we all love playing with words? I do. Yeah! My name is, my name is Victoria Marie Hockley. Um, Victoria Marie Adelaide Hockley. If you count my Catholic name. Um, and I have four gnomes in my front yard. And um, I work Real in. Real gnomes? Maybe at night. Um, <laughs> and I also have a gnome book. And I have that gnome shirt, but it doesn't have a DeVille in it, on it. And um, my favorite gnome is from my work that has a lot of gnomes at it. My chocolate iguana has a lot of fucking gnomes there. Like, you should go look. Um, and it's eating candy. <laughs> Thanks so much for the gnome t shirt. Do you like it? Yeah. I feel like it's a good icebreaker. I want to break up. <laughs>
<laughs> but I thought, I thought you were my no me. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, yeah, I am. This is the worst middle school graduation ever. <laughs> I just, whoa, whoa, Hey, hey I've got one too. <laughs> that's great. I just bought that for myself. Did you give that to Chris? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I've been saving this poison dart for a long time. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna look real nice. Ivory. <laughs> 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 